Praise the Lord. This is David A. Castro at brooklynblessing.com. I am your servant, the prophet from the projects. This here is my first book, Understanding Supernatural Dreams According to the Bible, a living classic. This here is my second book, Understanding Supernatural Visions According to the Bible. For this book, in 1994, James W. Gall wrote the foreword. I will read it now. Forward by James W. Gall. In the times in which we live, many believers in Jesus are being freshly introduced into the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the supernatural ways of God, new prophetic dimensions, and power encounters with the Lord. While many are being impacted by these wonderful experiences, it is also necessary that there be teachers and balanced biblical writings in place to help ground these gifted people so that they do not become isolated, alone in their journey, or due to the enemy's pressures, talked out of their encounters, which God has given for their good and for the good of others. This is where I have found the writings of David A. Castro to be so helpful. Brother David is a personal friend of mine seeking to walk the tightrope of present-day revelation and biblical truth. David's teachings combine the two edges of the sword of experience and the Holy Scripture. What a combination. You can't miss with that, nor can you miss benefiting from this book, Understanding Supernatural Visions According to the Bible. I have used David's books over the past few years to fill in some of the gaps in my own writings and add content where I have lacked. May you do the same. With this view in mind, I recommend this practical visionary material to you and trust that it will be as helpful to you as it has been in my life and ministry. James W. Gall, author, founder of Encounters Network, Franklin, Tennessee. Okay, that's what James W. Gall wrote in the forward to this, my second book. At that time, 19, that was 1994, at uh, Brian Simmons Church in West Haven, Connecticut, Gateway Christian Fellowship. Um, and so when I met James Gall, uh, he was enchanted by my teaching, my books, particularly my first book, this one. And uh, he celebrated me and you know, talked greatly about me to many people, including to uh, Mike Bickle and uh, Robert Stearns and uh, a number of other people, you know, such as Brian Simmons. So uh, over the years, he began to say, you know what? What he did, what he wrote in this book, The Seer, uh, is mostly based on, and the series that follow his uh, book notes, his uh, workbooks, and uh, other things, uh, peripheral teaching, including this, Levels of Supernatural Visions, he quotes verbatim my second book, almost in its entirety. <sighs> Mahesh Chanda! Mahesh Chanda! Where the heck are you? Your mentee, your disciple here, you're going to have to talk to him. What in the heck, James, have you done? What in the heck is David A. Castro talking about? All this prophetic material, dreams, visions, trances, open heavens, angels, the voice of God. What in the freaking heck is this guy talking about? What in the heck is David Castle talking about? James Gall, what in the heck have you done? James Gall, what in the heck have you done? What is he talking about? So, <laughs> busted, reckoning day. So, you know, here I am, man. I got nothing but love, no anger. The Lord is hot, let me tell you. Because I was once again, even this year, willing to say, you know what? 
I said a few things, wrote a few things, commented, posted a few, made known a few things. The chips fall where they made. Nobody has communicated. Nobody cares. Everybody turns a blind eye. Lord, I did my part. Let's move on with my acting career, with other projects. Let's do other stuff. I did my part. I'm willing to shut up for yet another decade and let God handle. And again, God keeps giving me fire and revelation and provocation saying, once again, David, so here, 2011, he says, it is because of my anointing on you that I will permit you to make this thing known. But I went for even more than 10 years, two more years without saying anything. 2013, trumpet of God speaks and says, now is the time. He again begins to provoke me to make this thing known. I write the book, make some posts, make some attempts at communication, receive nothing. No one's talking to me. Nobody wants to address these concerns. So here I am, 2014, once again, willing to say, you know what? I made known enough. Nobody hears, nobody cares. Oh Lord, thou knowest. Let's move on to other things. 2014, he is now, yet again, in March and April, 2014, now, God is still there with a fire, with the, with the Shekinah glory. Shekinah glory, don't let me go. Shekinah glory, you guys like to talk about Shekinah glory? Write about, teach about, pray about, and act like you are the glory carriers? Come to Brooklyn and let's see. Let's see where's the glory. Show me the glory. I'm telling you, there's the glory of God, the Shekinah glory, right here in the Williamsburg projects of Brooklyn, New York, in the life of Prophet David A. Castro, and you guys that write and teach and preach and pray and 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 and, uh, and uh, embellish all kinds of uh, pretty words to enchant people around the world talking about your kind of glory. You can't even talk to a Puerto Rican from Brooklyn about the Shekinah glory. Talk about classism, but you know what? I'm the one that God is with, keeps on saying, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Oh my God, and this is the seer? This is the holy man that used to pray and teach about prayer and intercession and, and groanings in the spirit and intercessions and fastings and oh my freaking God, oh my freaking God. Can even talk to a lowly Puerto Rican from the humble projects of Brooklyn, New York. But God said, James W. Ball, uh, what do they say in the military? Uh, come walk. Stand here. Present and accounted for. Where are you? You are not present. You ain't accounted for. Where the heck are you? Hiding behind an established elitist classist clique. Go ahead, stay there. When the Holy Ghost brings you out, um, then people will find will have to find out. So there is a, re a day of reckoning. Okay, so if, if the future, if the future involves, everybody's gonna have to give account. In front of the universe, everybody will hear and see who is who and what was what and what really went down in this and that event. I am so satisfied of what will be shown in that day. That's how clean my life is and has been. And my doings pure before the Lord. Um, and many can say the same. Some cannot. Regarding that, where do you stand? James W. Go. All right. Hey, man. Hey, don't blame me. I was willing to let you slide for a decade. And even when the Lord talked to me in 2011, I was willing to stay quiet for yet another two years, 2013. After publishing the book and telling the report, I again was willing to be quiet. So I'm the nice guy here. <laughs> hey, I'm the, I'm, I tried to be nice to you, James. But God 
and his Shekinah is calling you out. So I encourage those around you, Mahesh, you saw nothing, you know nothing, you care nothing. Mike Bickle, you don't see visions, really, so in that sense, hey, can't really hold you that accountable. Uh, Robert Stearns, a lot of you guys, hey, but that you are all in the prophetic, give me a freaking break. I want no communication with you guys. I want nothing from you guys. I am ashamed. I am ashamed. <laughs> I am ashamed. Oh, my God, I am ashamed. That y'all teach like me and are Christians like me, and yet, you, oh my God, I am ashamed. I am ashamed. And therefore, I am so glad to be distanced from you and elsewhere in the world, the rest of the world. Uh, and yet, I remain the same with nothing but love, mercy, and uh, ability to communicate.